वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन दी बेल आइकन टू रिसीव दी नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दी अपकमिंग वीडियोज आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व नाइनटी थ्री In the statement, it is given that a golf ball is struck with a velocity of 80 feet per second, as shown. Determine the distance d to where it will land. Right. So I will solve both of these, 1293 and 1294. So first, I will solve this 1293. So as we can see that uh, this d distance is the inclined distance, right? So this d is making 10 degrees with the horizontal right so first if i define my coordinate system so let's say if this is my positive x axis and this is my positive y axis right so then uh, the initial coordinates of point a right are the initial coordinates of the ball is at point a <coughs> and this is at the origin of this coordinate system right so we can write that x not and y not is equal to 0 0 right since initially the ball is at point a now this ball was struck at this point b so then we have to find the coordinates of uh, this point b right so if this inclined length is d so then if if i draw a perpendicular uh, if i draw a vertical line from this point b so let me draw a vertical line from this point b let's say so then this distance let's say that this point is t let's say this intersection point is t so then the coordinates of this point b will be if i write so then this will be a t distance along x and then this b t distance along y right so these are the coordinates of this point b so now as we can see that this is a triangle right so if if i draw the triangle here right so this is that d length right this is a point this is b and this is t right and this angle is 10 degrees right so this means that at equals to d cos of 10 and similarly the bt length is d sin of 10 degrees right so this means that the final coordinates of this ball will be at and bt so this means that this at will be equal to the final x coordinate and this will be equal to the final y coordinate right and now as we can see that this surface is making 10 degrees with the positive x axis is right so this means that according to this axis is according to the positive x axis is the initial velocity v a 80 feet per second is making 55 degrees right so we have to add this 10 degrees to this 45 right so now to find this d distance the this theta is 55 degree angle right so first what i will do if i apply the horizontal motion equation so this will be x equals to x not plus v a x into t right so the final coordinates at point b along x is d cos of 10 right so i will write d cos of 10 degrees x not is 0 since the ball is at the origin right and we x is v a cos of 55 degrees right into t and we also know v a magnitude so v a is 80 right so we can write it 80 right so d this will give us d as a function of time right so this will be 80 cos of 55 divided by cos of 10 so now this is the equation for d distance in terms of time right so now if i apply the vertical motion equation right so i will write that y equals to y not plus v a y into t minus half g t square right so the final uh, coordinate in the y direction is this this is d sin of 10 degrees so this is let me write it as d sin of 10 degrees y not is 0 and v a y is again we can write that this will be v this will be a t sin of 55 degrees into t and this will be minus and this g is 32.2 right since the units are in feet per second right so this will be 32.2 divided by 2 so this will be 16.1 t square right so as we can see that 
this equation has t right so we can substitute the this d uh, equation in this d right so we can substitute this d so if i write uh, if i substitute this d value in this equation so this will be we can write it like this so this will be 46.59 into t right so now in this whole equation we have one unknown so we can find the time required for the ball to reach that point b now so when we simplify this so we get this equation right so we can write it like this as well Six, it will be 16.1 t square and this will be 65.53 t minus 8.09 t so if we divide whole equation by 1 t so we will be this t will be cancelled out right so we will be left with 16.1 t equals to 65.53 minus 8.09 so this t comes out to be 3.568 second right so this is 5 3.568 second so this will be the time required for the ball to reach that point b so now using this t value we can find this d distance that is the inclined distance and this d distance is 46.59 into 3.568 so this d comes out to be 166 feet this is the solution of the problem 1293 so now in 1294 it is said that a golf ball is struck with a velocity of 80 feet per second as shown so determine the speed at which it strikes the ground at p right so now we have to find <coughs> the velocity at point b and it is said that find the time of flight from a to b right so we are asked in this 1294 problem we are asked to find the time of flight right so we have already determined the time of flight which is 3.568 right so now we only need to find the velocity at point b so the velocity at point b if we apply the vertical motion equation so the velocity v b y will be equal to v a x and this is minus g into t right so v b y is equal to this this is not v a x right so this is v a y right so v a y is 80 sine of 55 degree right minus 32.2 into 3.568 so this will give us the velocity at b in the y direction so this comes out to be minus 49.36 feet per second and now if we find the vbx the velocity component at point b in the x direction so that will be equal to vax since the horizontal component of the velocity remains constant right so this will be 80 cos of 55 degrees so vbx comes out to be 45.89 and now if you want to find the velocity magnitude at point b so then vb will be equal to vbx square so this will be 45.89 whole square plus vby whole square and we will take the square root so this will give us the velocity at b magnitude so the velocity magnitude at point b comes out to be 67.39 feet per second so this is the solution of both of these problems